Well, the Oregon Cascades are a favorite place for skiers and snowboarders this time of year, but for researchers, they're more interested in what's buried underneath all of that snow and ice. Meteorologist Joe Ranieri has more on what a recent discovery means for us. We know the Oregon Cascades are buried beneath heavy snow and glaciers this time of year, but new research is showing something even bigger than that. This aquifer is not, not a huge open reservoir, right? It's, it's not something you could go swimming in. Leif Karlstrom is a volcanologist and professor of earth science at the University of Oregon. He was part of a research team with Oregon State University, Duke, and the U.S. Forest Service to map out how much water is stored beneath the volcanic rocks of the Cascades. It's all sort of locked up in fractures in, in the bedrock, uh, but it's what we call active groundwater, meaning, meaning that it's constantly flowing. It was widely known for decades there was an aquifer under the Sanian Pass region between Eugene and Bend. But what they didn't know was just how big it was. The, the volume that we found uh, is comparable to large continental lakes, really. Uh, it's just locked up in the in the ground, uh, in, the, in the bedrock. They discovered it to be nearly three times the size of Lake Mead, a reservoir that covers parts of Nevada and Arizona, which also supplies water to California, Arizona, and Nevada. They initially thought it was the same size as the lake. We used old geothermal exploration wells, so, so these um, holes that were drilled in the 70s and 80s um, that were looking for geothermal potential. Thanks to that research from decades ago, it allowed them to get a better idea of just how large the aquifer is. So what does it mean to have 19 cubic miles of water running under the crest of the Cascades? We, we have a tremendous resource uh, in the Cascades, um, and, and that's well known. I mean, we have, we, I think we all take it for granted living up, living up here. An extremely valuable resource that could become even more important as climate change impacts other sources of water. Joe Ranieri, KGW News.